everyone thank you for joining me so although I haven't been producing much in the way of builds lately um, everybody knows that that doesn't stop us from buying more stuff um, to add to the excess that we've already got and um, this is a new iteration of Treebeard I believe at least I hope it is and um, also a couple of new iterations of uh, Merry and Pippin so this is the first of uh, my purchases um, 50 pound this uh, figure uh, normally costs uh, fortunately I was able to get seven pound off it so so that's the first one staying with Lord of the Rings um, I decided to get some Urukai warriors um, I did have some of these in the past unfortunately I don't have them anymore but um, it's basically just a painting project that I want to do um, see how I get on with the AK paints and trying to replicate the armour that these guys have got <clears throat> as well as their um, skin tone so that was the reason behind this purchase the other reason was that um, I could save on postage at the same time so that's that so the last of the Games Workshop purchases um, Demonets of Sunesh um, I have an idea for a project for these uh, I hope it um, I hope that I actually complete it for a change um, I want to do a diorama for a very good friend um, and um, a good friend of the community actually but I don't want to say anything more because um, I've got to try and get this um, done so uh, that's the reason why I bought these so on to Tin Soldier um, Northumbrian Tin Soldier I've bought some more of these um, single individual figures just because I really like them and I want to produce them and give them names for the old hands who continue to support my channel uh, which is a bit of a rod for my back because I'm bound to forget somebody and upset somebody and I apologise if I do that that's not the intention um, I just want to say a bit of a thank you to, to people so we've already had Jeff and we've had um, Charlie um, Joe uh, there was one other old Tom so so I'm hoping to get some more of these done um, I am doing one at the moment for for one of the old hands so this is uh, Thorkin Stoneseeker um, which obviously I think is a treasure hunter of, uh, of some sort and I'm going to try and do the natural sorry non-metallic metal uh, paint on this as opposed to using metallic paints next we have uh, Otto Oakenstaff um, I can't work out whether his helmet's made of wood or um, or um, gold or brass uh, I don't suppose it really matters too much how I paint it up okay so we've got another copy of Malfolio Iron Braid you may recall that I did this figure for Charlie um, I want to have another go at it I think I want to use the technique I'm using at the moment which is no washes um, and using AK paints <clears throat> and then what I'll do is I'll put this alongside the other one if it comes out better if it doesn't then you won't see this one again <laughs> having problems getting this one to stand up this is Sandor, Sandor Thornheart um, who looks uh, pretty menacing with the, the uh, two axes um, it should be an interesting figure to paint because as you can see a lot of greens and browns on this one um, not much in the way of, uh, of metal here we have Lothor Ogabane um, some great names aren't they again he looks like a, a really interesting figure to uh, to paint up with the beard and whatever no helm this time or hood so yeah here we have Rotrick Oathmark um, so I don't know whether he's supposed to be um, a prince or a king, leader of uh, dwarves um, but uh, I'm looking forward to painting this Haldor Deepcutter um, there's a lot of uh, gold or whatever metal on him so we will be very interesting to paint up with the uh, non-metallic metal um, system and the last of the figures is the only female in this, um, in this group Serta Ironbow um, and uh, I will be painting her up 
The one problem with the um, the tin soldier figures is that most of the females wear beards as well uh, for the dwarves. Um, and uh, <laughs> I want to paint this up for somebody <laughs> and I didn't want to be disrespectful so I had to be careful as to what uh, figure I <laughs> used. Um, even this one may require some, some uh, judicious trimming because she looks like she's got sideburns but um, I have spoken, I have messaged the lady and she said that she's just chuffed that I would be painting the figure for her so um, we're all good. So that's it guys, um, plenty of figures again to add to the oh god knows how many figures I've got or model kits to do. Um, I hope your week is, well your weekend is going well um, and that uh, you're getting some hobby time yourselves. Um, look after yourselves. Uh, just a quick thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys and girls. You know, that may be the case. Um, and obviously to my old hands who, um, who still comment, who still support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Right, I shall leave you alone now. Uh, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.